welcome back guys this is the king of weebs here and this is what if naruto was raised by the sage of six paths part one we begin straight away um <clears throat> so this what if begins with the hogoromo actually being present when uh, minato and kushina are killed by the nantos and uh, seal away the nantos but this time the whole thing into naruto now the sage of six paths realizes that you know Maybe Naruto might need some guidance in his life because uh, from what he's seen, tail beasts and their jinjurikis, especially in this village, they're quite hated. Now, after this, Naruto would grow up up to the age of three and uh, he would start living off oh, three slash four, nearly four, and he would start living on his own. Now, the Sage of Six Pass would see how Naruto is treated uh, in the village and he, see he sees how Naruto is always, uh, well, treated as a monster now obviously he wasn't going to just allow this to happen on a daily basis uh well he wanted someone to actually take care of naruto but he saw that nobody had well the intention to this the hokage the only person that actually cares for naruto is always busy and he understands that and everyone else just hates naruto now obviously we go on to see pretty much the um well Sage of Six Paths appearing in front of Naruto one day once he comes back from his usual trip outside. It was a uh, quite quite the trip as he had to run away from village uh, villagers that wanted him dead. Now Naruto would come in with the bruises and cuts. Obviously things were thrown at him and they did hit him. But anywho, now he would announce himself to Naruto as the Sage of Six Paths and Naruto would be confused on who this is. The Sage of Six Paths basically shows Naruto from a vision who he is. Naruto was very smart in this wife and thus he understood everything that he was shown and he realizes the importance of the man who is in front of him. How just how important he really is and anywho now. He pretty much bows down to him as the, the Sage of Six Paths laughs and s tells him to, you know, stand up and tells him that from now on he will teach him everything he knows and he will help him in his life. So thus, the Sage of Six, pa Six Paths goes into Naruto's mind and pretty much will raise, well, uh, well Naruto from inside his mind. Now, now, obviously, the Sage of Six Pass would make his way down to the well, depths of Naruto's mind where the Naruto was hiding. He d has not told Naruto about the Naruto yet, as he feels like he's too young to know right now. Uh, obviously, the he knows what the Naruto is, but he wants to tell him in a year or so when Naruto is uh, a bit more mature. And uh, anywho, now, obviously. Naruto would uh, begin training with the Sage of Six Paths and the uh, Naruto's would respect Naruto now. He realized that Naruto was, uh, you know, important enough for even the Sage of Six Paths to pretty much uh, come and raise him. And now uh, this made the, the Naruto's respect and actually admire Naruto for a well, while. For a little while until he went back to sleep. A year would pass like this and Naruto would continue training. He would become one of the strongest Genins. Although he's not a Genin yet. But stronger than Gen um, many Genins. And even Trinin, close to Trinin level now. Naruto would still get mistreated by the village. And uh, this would uh, kind of, you know, spark a little bit of a hatred in, of, of uh, the villagers. Not the village itself. Just a few of them, especially because uh, most of them just ignore him at this point. But there are some, you know, that actually want to kill him and everything. This uh, makes Naruto hate them the most. And then uh, Naruto would continue training and the Sage of Six Paths would uh, slowly, slowly unlock the power that, you know, he should have uh, with being Asher's reincarnation. Not literally just giving him a true seeking orb every year. No, that's, that's a bit too much power because one true seeking orb is... Uh, quite crazy if you if you well know the naruto anime and manga we see flipping madara use them and uh, obito use them and they're very overpowered now obviously 
Naruto wouldn't get that but slowly his chakra would be unlocked and he would get more and more chakra and uh, he knows the shadow clone jutsu he knows many forbidden jutsus that the well obviously the sage of six paths would know he has all five chakra natures because the sage of six paths has unlocked that ability for Naruto and thus he can use fire style wood style lightning style you know all of them now Naruto would learn the Fireball Jutsu and also the Majestic Destroyer Flame and he would learn the Water Dragon Jutsu. He would also use Wind Release to actually well, sharpen his uh, tools, ninja tools and also make a small like a, a, like, a little barrier like thing around him as well. Now, Naruto wouldn't be done there. He would continue training and uh, he would also know a, a few Earth Release Jutsus for example the mud wall and uh, many other things now naruto obviously who is uh, now about to enroll in the academy it's been a few years it's been five years since the sage of six class has uh, met naruto and started uh, training him and raising him he also made him you know well he also met the nantos by now uh the the Sage of Six Paths has told Naruto about the Nantos and Naruto and the Nantos are kind of friends. They they talk to each other a lot and they can relate to each other as the, Naruto has some hatred towards uh, some humans and you know the Nantos just hates all kind of humans. Although Naruto doesn't believe that everyone is responsible for what a bunch of people did and seal him away like this. Obviously Naruto has a calm mind and he's not knuckle-headed like in the original. He's more he's more like Ashura. Yes, he's a bit knuckle-headed here and there, but he is uh, more calm-minded and still has uh, those traits of Indra, for example, the smart uh, smartness. It's as if Naruto's the reincarnation of both of Indra and Ashura. Obviously, that will be a wife one day, you never know. But anywho, the Sage of Six Pass was happy with, Nar with Naruto's growth and he wants Naruto to grow even stronger. Obviously not to, you know, stop there and just call it quits. He wants Naruto to continue training and become the strongest ever. Now, he has come to, you know, like Naruto a lot. Now, obviously, Naruto is not done with training. In the academy, he makes only two friends, though, oh, or three. Those being, well... Shikamaru, Choji and Tsuki. Yes, Tsuki's back in the what if. Uh, don't worry, I will stop using her for a bit. I'm not just going to use her in every what if. But I see like she can fit in this one. But anyways, now. Obviously, the three would hang out a lot. And uh, they would be motivated by seeing Naruto train. As Naruto would stop hanging out like for long hours with them. Especially because he has training. He would hang out with them like two uh, an hour or two. And then go to training while, while the rest just have fun for another two hours after that. But anyways, now. Obviously, they begin training with Naruto as well. And Naruto is no slouch. He's not going to just make, uh, you know, go easy on them. He's going to train them as hard as he can. Um, so they, they become machines. Tsuki was not really interested in becoming a ninja, but she did it because her father wanted to want her to become one. But after seeing how Naruto trained and how much Naruto wants to be a ninja, she found new motivation and she wants to be on par with Naruto. Thus, she, thus she starts training and unlocks her prodigy, literally. Uh, she, she is a prodigy. She can learn things really easily. She has a photographic memory and uh, she's just even better than Itachi at this point but anywho the Uchiha massacre does happen as usual but obviously Tsuki is not deterred by it but she wants to know why uh, well, Itachi did this obviously this was after she met with Naruto and everything and you know she was depressed for a few weeks the same as Sasuke but Sasuke remained depressed but obviously he wants revenge but Tsuki wants answers why there must be a reason she knows her brother too well and he's not the type of guy to actually just go and uh, go off and kill the Uchiha clan like that. She has the two Tomoe Sharingan because she unlocked the second one after, you know, seeing her parents die. And Sasuke unlocked his first Tomoe. Now, Sasuke isn't aware of it, but Tsuki, but Tsuki tells him to just try to put some chakra into his eyes. And obviously he finds out that he did get it after seeing his parents die. But anyways, now, obviously he needs to train as well. And the two train a lot together as well. Obviously she invites Sasuke to train with Naruto. But Sasuke says that he doesn't need Naruto's help. He's going to do this all on his own. And, you know, they are going to kill Sa uh, Itachi. But then she says, well, you're going to find the answer, not kill him. 
obviously they have two different views uh, Sasuke sees the Itachi as a traitor, someone who needs to be punished, someone who needs to die. Whereas Tsuki sees uh, Sas uh, Itachi as someone who uh, who was blackmailed into this. There was no way Itachi did this on his, out of his own will and uh, on his own accord. Now Naruto would continue training and he would have a lot of jutsus. He would also ask the Hokage to well teach him uh, the Rasengan. Obviously, the Hokage does not know the Rasengan. Well, that's we don't know that, but. Uh, it's well the Hokage has been said to know every jutsu known to you know the hidden leaf village other than the uh, cl clad exclusive ones or maybe he does have those too but we don't know uh, so I'm not sure whether to you know give the further Hokage the Rasengan or not but I'm going to assume that he knows the basics of it he knows the how to learn it and uh, he, but he's never gotten around to actually you know master it Thus, he just gives Naruto the steps, and Naruto begins doing it. it uh, well, now we go on to Choji and Shikamaru. Choji and Shikamaru are very strong. Uh, Shikamaru is already at Chunin level. The, at the level he was uh, when he was a Chunin, not at the Chunin exams. Above that, when he after, I wouldn't say after the fight, after the Sasuke retrieval arc, maybe just. Just before that, so after he fought those uh, ninjas on his own and everything, so he's grown a lot. But anywho, now, we, we still have another four years to go, so they're going to get a lot stronger. Within those four years, Naruto learns the Rasengan, and he realizes that there's something missing. The Hogoromo does give him a tip, using, you know, the Shadow Clones to train, as uh, when once one actually, you know, poofs away or pops away, or whatever you guys want to say, disappears, he will gain that experience, uh, the experience that, you know, the shadow clone went through all the knowledge that he learned thus making it easier for him to train as it, it will be much faster he tells this to Sa uh, well, Tsuki uh, who then tells Sasuke but Sasuke has a hard time mastering the shadow clone jutsu however he does get in the end and uh, they pretty much uh, you know found a loophole in training now naruto would continue training in mastering the sengan and creating a better one but obviously he wouldn't just do that he would also continue his normal training and trying to actually well take some chakra from the nine tools the nine the nine the nine tools although respecting naruto and everything he does not want to give his chakra to naruto yet because he doesn't see him as a strong enough he wants naruto to be able to he, he will only give Naruto his chakra if Naruto is able to defeat him. So once Naruto is stronger than the Nine Tails and Naruto has more chakra than the Nine Tails, uh, then the Nine Tails would allow him to access his own chakra. Naruto didn't see a reason in that, but Hagoromo was that like, that's a much better idea than giving him your chakra just like that, as uh, it would help him well grow strong and you know just uh, do his thing in it. Now. Naruto would continue training as uh, he still tries to steal some chakra from the Nantos here and there and the Nantos just gives him a little taste of uh, what he could acquire one day. He doesn't give him the like KCM or anything but he gives him a taste of it like the cloak not even one till just the cloak and obviously the cloak that everyone got I don't think that one had a, uh, a tail the one that Naruto gave to everyone to protect them but anywho or to heal them up and give them extra an extra boost. You know what he did in the war arc, but anyway, now, um, when he went around with four clones and just tapped everyone's hand and, you know, everyone just had that red cloak around them, that one, by the way, and if if someone didn't remember it. Now, obviously, <clears throat> Naruto saw how, strong, how much stronger he gets, however, as soon as he tries to do a jutsu, the chakra runs out, as the nine tools smiles and tells Naruto that this is just... Not even a fraction of what he could get, and this is, uh, this is so little that he cannot fathom of how much chakra he and how much power he will get one day if he continues his training and defeats him in a fight one day. Obviously, four years have passed. Naruto graduates from the academy, and Mizuki still tells him about the nine tools, how to make him get the scroll of sealing, and but Naruto just knocks him out and pretty much brings him to the Hokage. Now, obviously, we go on to. Well, the teams now the next day the teams were made and here Kiba will be replaced by Tsuki so I'm sorry Kiba but you are not needed here thus Tsuki is in team 8 with uh, Hinata and uh, 
uh, Shino. Now, obviously, Shino is friends with the uh, Tsuki as well. So is Hinata. Hinata doesn't like Naruto here. She she likes him as a person, but not romantically because she's actually had a crush for a long time with the for Lee. Now, obviously, they go on. Well, so now the teams have been made, and anyways, now. Now, Naruto, Sasuke, and uh, Sakura meet their team sensei a long time after. Naruto does not, well, hate Sasuke. In fact, he actually likes him. He wants Sasuke to be his friend. He wants to be friends with Sasuke. Thus, he tries talking to him. He tries, you know, starting a conversation. Now, obviously, uh... Sasuke is like, nah fam, <laughs> get out bro, please, don't, don't talk to me, yeah, no, don't talk to me, I don't like you, and you don't like me, yeah, so anyways, now, obviously, Naruto does get kind of offended, but you know, he knows that Sasuke is always being like this, he's like this to Tsuki as well, now, once Kakashi comes in, obviously, he gets no pranks, nothing, and he just calls them boring and tells them to go to the rooftop, Naruto pretty much teleports there because he's that fast, but he body flickers there and he actually gets there before Kakashi. Now the other two are confused and once they get up there they ask Naruto what the hell did he just use and Naruto says it was a pretty easy technique called uh, body flicker. Obviously Naruto wasn't at the top of the class when he was in the academy and have work in an hour. Uh, obviously Sasuke knows that Naruto's quite strong thanks to Tsuki always talking about him because she has a crush on him and he doesn't really hate Naruto but you know he kind of doesn't want to get too close to him because he knows that if he does, he's going to rely on him like his sister does. Obviously, she doesn't and uh, he thinks that she does. Now, obviously, Sasuke goes on and, well, no, Kakashi, sorry, goes on and asks them about their dreams, their, their likes and dislikes. Obviously, Nar um, Sakura goes first and her likes are Sasuke, dislikes are Naruto and... Uh, you know, her dream, she just looks at Sasuke as usual. And anywho, now, Sasuke tells him that he doesn't have any likes. He dislikes a lot of things and, uh, uh, you know, and he hates a certain person. And uh, his dream is to, you know, revive his clan and kill a certain someone. Sorry. Um, now, obviously, Naruto goes next. And, uh, well, uh, Sasuke wants to kill a certain someone. But anywho, Naruto goes first. His likes are training with his friends, ramen, and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, training with some other few guys that he doesn't want to talk about. Obviously, this uh, catches the attention of uh, Kakashi. He's like, who are these two? And now, his dislikes are, you know, being mistreated by the village and some people in the village. But And his dream is to show everyone that he's not a demon and the Nantos is not a demon either. And in fact, show them that, you know, the Nantos and him are much more than just uh, demons, as they say. They are human. Well, they have souls and they're not as bad as they think they are. Now, the, the, the Kakashi is very confused at this point. Is that him and the Nantos? Does that mean the Nantos has met Naruto or Naruto met him? Or it? I don't know if it's a he or she. But what does this mean? Now, obviously, uh, you know, he was... Uh, he was interested, but he didn't know how to approach Naruto about this. But anywho, now, obviously, uh, we get to pretty much see the Kakashi told them about tomorrow's exam, and obviously, Sakura complains. But anyways, the, the next morning they go and um, meet up. Obviously, Kakashi comes out late, and um, he explains the test to them. Uh, obviously, Sakura. Well, catches on that there's only two bells and there's three of them. Obviously, she's saying that Naruto obviously catches on that this is just a teamwork exam. And then, you know, obviously, once they actually begin, Naruto goes to the other two and tells them that they have to work together to get the bells. It doesn't matter who gets it. If they work together, they will all pass. Trust him on this one. If they don't, he'll just give his bell to any of the other two that don't have it, alright? If he gets one. Obviously, Naruto, to make them trust him even more, he acts, he offers himself up as the decoy, but they must get the bells. Because the bells are still important, it doesn't mean that, you know, if they work together and get the bells, it shows that their teamwork is good. If they don't get the bells, it shows that their teamwork is there, but it's not good. Thus, they need to somehow get their teamwork to work well, but yeah. 
Anywho, now they begin as Naruto acts as a decoy and fights Kakashi on par with Kakashi with a book first. And Kakashi realizes that Naruto is amping it up. <clears throat> and uh, Kakashi puts away his book. And uh, he realizes that even without the book, Naruto is keeping up quite easily. And in fact, he's not even breathing heavily. He's not even sweating. Naruto is as it's as if Naruto is just uh, there breathing. Now, obviously, Kakashi amps up even more, and uh, Naruto is now actually starting to you know feel it a bit is that all right maybe i need to amp it up as well obviously as they fight together the kakashi is actually having quite a good time until naruto whips out the rasengan and kakashi is like wait what the hell and obviously naruto smashes it into kakashi as kakashi goes flying but it was just a clone uh oh well a decoy not a clone by substitution which turns into a log which gets destroyed because the rasengan was a normal one he added a bit just a tiny bit in the in the core of the rasengan there, there was a bit of a wind release which actually made the spin and the once he exploded the rasengan actually exploded thus he exploded the you know the log the log of wood kakashi with the sharingan he was actually looking he realized that that was no 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 more rasengan he's like that that was different that was a different kind of rasengan first of all he let go of his hand and he would he would fly in. like what's going on obviously now Naruto then uh, well Kakashi then comes out behind Naruto using a fireball jutsu with his, uh, with his Sharingan out now as uh, he realizes that Naruto is different he he's hiding something Naruto looks back as if like it's normal for him to see such a big you know fireball jutsu and he says uh <coughs> earth style mud, uh, mud dome or, or you know earth dome which actually you know uh protects him obviously the the dome is actually damaged but naruto actually comes out from the other side of the dome well not of the dome but behind kakashi as he dug down and came out and he has a you know a shuriken in his hand and a kunai he throws the shuriken with some fire release on it yes as the shuriken goes you know how uh, itachi's uh fire phoenix jutsu it was something similar to that but only one shuriken but then naruto throws a kunai, a kunai with uh, some lightning release on it which uh, actually well you know cuts a bit of uh, kakashi's cheek and uh, actually electrocutes him a bit and this was enough for uh, of a distraction for the two to actually get the bells and it was over it was uh, just in time as well a few minutes before the actual test ended sasuke was like that was very impressive naruto is very strong much stronger than him he realizes that but he's not jealous he realizes that that's most likely because he's training with other people and uh, he realized that once when he trains with suki he he gets more out of that than training on his own which makes him want to train with her more or train with someone else not with naruto because he knows that with naruto he's just going to get more jealous and naruto will grow even stronger he doesn't want naruto to get any stronger he wants himself to get more stronger than naruto although he wants naruto to get stronger as well at the same time so he can have a rival <coughs> naruto is basically treated as a rival in sasuke's brain anywho now now Kakashi obviously praised the Naruto and Team 7 for actually using teamwork here as they actually strategized before this. Obviously Naruto was the main bait and uh, they all pass. The next day they begin their missions for a full month but here Kakashi actually is asked by Sasuke to train him. Here Sasuke grows a lot stronger like I mean a lot. Like when I say a lot I mean a lot. Like a lot lot. Now Sasuke's gains are mad. He's uh, built a lot, Sam, uh, same like Naruto, but anyways, now obviously Naruto grows stronger as well as uh, he learns the Chidori as because he wants to, although he's not going to use it much, he still learns it because Kakashi just gave him the Jutsu, he tells him that, you know, the Hokage gave him the Rasengan and uh, he actually just improved on it, obviously he's still trying to improve on it but he hasn't gotten time to actually transform it into a different kind of uh, Jutsu, just adding some chakra releases to it is enough for now. Anywho now, um, obviously the one month goes by pretty quickly and uh, Naruto gets bored of these missions. Uh, Tsuki grows a lot stronger. She also has the free to win Sharing like Sasuke now. Yes, he has it too. He also has the Chidori and Naruto knows the Chidori too. Sakura, on the other hand, she's quite weak and thus Kakashi begins to actually show her the weight of being a ninja, like literally. And anyways, now, obviously... She learns a lot and uh, now she <clears throat> she actually well begins training but they actually go on their first ever C rank mission which was uh, you know escorting Tarzana to the land of waves. 
obviously this mission wasn't going to be easy because uh, you know who's waiting on the in the, on the other side bani huna uh on the way there they obviously go uh, you know come across the demon brothers and find out that this is not a c rank mission this is a much this is a much higher rank mission but kakashi here believes in his team although sakura is a bit weak he knows that she started training thus he believes in them and uh, he actually takes them with him Obviously, they come across as Abuzo, and the first fight against Abuzo happens as per normal. Kakashi here, having a bit of, a bit more training with Sasuke, would have would have actually avoided the water prison. However, in the end, Naruto and Sasuke actually came in as uh, he was uh, well. Kakashi still slipped, and he was caught off guard. Eventually, uh, yes, eventually it would, it took a lot longer here, but anyway, now nah. uh, Naruto and Sasuke come in the way uh, of well came in to the, for the rescue. Or to the rescue and then he did the, they did the same exact uh, oh, thing where Naruto transformed into a you know a a, a massive shuriken and then he, now, he threw a kunai but this kunai was uh, electrolyzed literally he put electricity in it or you know lightning release in it and anyways now so Zabuza had to dodge this because if he touched him he's wet so if he touched him that electricity would electrocute him to death Thus, he had to dodge pretty quickly, and in the end, Kakashi was about to destroy him, but uh, Haku comes in the way and saves him. Now, Naruto and Team 7 go and rest up at Tazuna's place, and uh, obviously, Sakura begins her training. Sasuke trains on his own, so does Naruto. Now, uh, she does the tree walking, but also she's starting to do a water walking um, drill. And, anyways, now Naruto meets Haku in the end, and they become friends, and the next day, not uh, when when they're meant to leave, Naruto still woke up late and saved, uh, you know, uh, Inari and his mother. Now, after saving them, he went uh, to you know his team, and Sasuke is having a pretty even fight for now with uh, Haku. Naruto watches as uh, you know Sasuke is uh, able to keep up with Haku's speed for now, but in the end, Haku amps up the speed and pretty much knocks Sasuke out with a few uh, senbon, which then causes Naruto to actually get in the fight and Naruto pretty much decimates Haku no matter what the speed of Haku was Naruto's way faster he has Hogoromo inside of him and Hogoromo has given him a gift for his 12th, 13th birthday or well, an early gift but anywho he gets one true seeking home I know he's, I said I won't give him one a year or anything like this but this is the first time he's ever gotten one and he can use it but he tends not to use it right now because it will be very weird for a, just a, a black orb or you know a sphere just to float around him it's kind of crazy if you think about it but anywho now obviously naruto defeats haku and finds out who he is and as a haku well haku was about to go and uh, save zabuza naruto actually stops kakashi himself by holding onto his arm obviously using electricity too so he doesn't get electrocuted as well but anyways kakashi asks why and naruto says it's not worth it to kill them they're doing this because they have nowhere else to go maybe if they come if they have a village to you know be in and work for uh, they wouldn't have to do the dirty work of uh, or the you know the dirty work of a of a tyrant obviously kakashi understands and zabuza so well asks haku if he wants to go back with them obviously uh, haku nods saying that naruto is his friend as well thus they actually accept naruto's offer and kakashi was like naruto is thinking you know is a uh, hokage like he's thinking of the not only of the people but also the village this will benefit both the people that are coming into the village and the village itself because these two are very strong they even kakashi realized that they're both s rank shinobi now obviously gato arrives and here zabuza and haku go off and kill everyone there the and obviously naruto gets the finishing blow on gato as well Anywho, they return to the village and uh, obviously they they tell the Hokage that, you know, they're part of the, the village now and uh, the Hokage accepts. He doesn't mind. And anywho, now, they are told about the Chunin exams and Naruto is very excited for this because Naruto has always wanted to, you know, upgrade in the ranks and everything. But anywho, now, the, he gets two weeks of training on his own because... Uh, Atsuki was actually going to train with Sasuke for two weeks. Naruto made sure to get his brains into it because he hasn't been studying a lot recently. He's not. He's very smart, but you know he still needs to revise. And and anywho, that is where I'm going to end off. I know it was only half an hour. I was actually planning to do a forty-minute video for this part, but 
I have work. Uh, well, I have my my place where I work is actually at literally forty minutes away, maybe an hour if the bus takes too long. And I don't. I, I'm not paying two pound sixty to go by train. Yeah, now, allow that. Yeah, I'm not rich. Thus, I go by the bus because it's one bus, and as soon as uh, and it's free for me. I have to pay for now because my card hasn't arrived yet, so I'm using my parents' card. Uh, but anyways, now I mean zip card. If you live in the UK, you know what that is, but. It's like a card for the bus and if you're 16 or well, up to 18 you basically get the bus for free and the trains is much cheaper as well i think it's like 80p 85p maybe 90 but and the adult one is like 260 for the train and uh, flipping uh, 165 for the bus it's crazy uh, <laughs> everything's so expensive nowadays it's fucking expensive bro but anyways now uh, if you go up to here thank you uh, you can put hashtag end of video squad i'll you know make sure to reply to you and thank you for being here but anyways anyways i hope you enjoyed it please take care stay safe this was the king of weebs here and i'm only going to be working for two months and i'm going to be uploading regularly as soon as start as school starts again don't worry because it's not going to be as stressful as gcc but in the second year of it was going to be quite stressful but anywho my darklings you're dismissed this was the king of weebs here and i'm getting a pc soon that's why i'm working and peace